What's up, everybody? This is Step with Blunt Rap Sports TV. Shout out to the LDBC, those my mentors. And, you know, I got to get on the Broner bandwagon of news. I got to get my Broner videos out there. But the one thing, you know, I want to discuss my reaction to the press conference I seen today with Broner going off on Leonard Ellaby and this and that. Definitely made it. An interesting fight as far as, like, it probably added more buzz to the fight. Added some more interest to the fight, but... Naturally, I'm a black man, so I think more than just selling us a fight, I feel like these fighters is in positions of influence, and, and they got a large following, and it's just like... I don't like, he don't articulate himself well to me in the sense of the press conference with the bitch ass nigga and come on man, I just think these black fighters need to stop using that word so loosely in the boxing media amongst people that's not of our culture. The best trash talker to me in boxing in the history of boxing we know it's Ali <laughs> Ali no matter I don't care how much trash Adrian Brown to talk here never one second this is the curry yo Ugh. my good old nasty ass curry out. You know how that go. Guess I gotta get a woman. Get some home cooked meals around here. But um nah man uh Ali was the greatest trash talker in the history of boxing to me and and I can't find no footage of him promoting the fight but using curse words and just looking ignorant. I've never that that's the thing. They call it trash talking, but a lot of times I think Broner is ranting, he's outbursting, he's ignorant. I'm just, it is what it is. It's just silly. And to me, it's simple. I, I was a Broner fan beginning, and I like his bravado, but to me, when you step up, you don't win. You talk about Jesse Vargas. When he stepped up, he lost. He made a good account for himself in both of the fights that he lost. You was clearly beaten in the fights that you lost. And Jesse Vargas is not talking how you talk. You say the same shit with every fight. Oh, I'm going to beat him. I'm going to beat the shit out of him. And this, that, and third. And this. The whole Ellaby thing. It's like, at the end of the day, you fighting Jesse Vargas. My thing, what you mad at, Ella B? This is my thing. With the whole Leonard Ella B and this, I don't know these people personally, but it's like you're mad at these people because they don't believe you're going to win. To me, that's just some gay-ass shit at the end of the day. That, that's why I have a problem with Broner. I don't like people that can give it but can't take it. You mad because these people don't believe in you. You've given us every reason not to believe in you. And you mad at a person because they don't believe in you? It just don't make logical sense. It's almost like borderline feminine. They don't like me. Next thing you know, two months later, he's going to be like, oh, man, it was just, you know, you go through stuff. I'm older. I'm mature. This, that, and the third. Big bro. You've never been a big bro. I'm definitely not about to eat like I'm boxing. I do need to start living a boxer's lifestyle. Can't be eating this motherfucking curry out at night and this, that, and the third.
What? I ain't did yet. I ain't did. But that's all, man. It just... It was entertainment for the simple fact it was drama, but... In the overall scheme of things... The overall scheme of things... It's ignorance. And Boner gonna lose again. And he's gonna run the same act. He could have did more. Y'all still gonna pay to come see me. I'm still AB. I'm still the can man. So in order for it to be over with, I'm looking forward with. For oh, his shit to be over because I just don't think he represent our people right here. Silly nigga to me. He remind me of a nigga that's consumed with nonsense. But Jesse and all the good bone up off the game. Bona got to get punished out the game. Because he lose fights, but he don't get punished. So it leave doubt. Did he not give his all? I want him to get punished. See what's up with the basketball game. But yeah, man, overall, he was silly. He was disrespectful. And he's showing you how intelligent he isn't because you've been disrespectful to people that's in position. And he's not in position to be talking the way he is. He'll get blackballed. They just need a reason. All it say, let me tell you, we might not see Brona again if he get punished. If he lose, he gonna run the same con. If he just lose and he just ain't throw his hands and it was a boring fight but he clearly lost, he'll be back talking the same shit. But if he get punished where it's clear, they not fucking with him no more. That's all.